guys welcome back to my channel today's video is actually going to be pretty quick i'm just going to be sharing with you guys my experience with getting my first class medical certificate i got it two days ago and i was a little nervous about it so i'm just going to share how it was just in case you're wondering and um, also a few updates so two days ago i had my appointment and i booked this appointment three weeks ago and this was the soonest available because there's only two in my area and one was out but anyways so when i arrived to the appointment the first thing they did was took a urine sample which i i, I guess i wasn't expecting but i mean i understand and then after that they took my blood pressure and my weight so the nurse did that and then she also did an eye exam which this is the reason why i was nervous to begin with is because i have pretty bad eyesight which corrected i'm 20 20 but my left eye is like really bad and um so there was you know of course like the um signage where you have to read the letters and then they make you read it with two eyes then the right and then the left and then the left one i was like seeing stars for a little bit but um i know i have 2020 corrected but for some reason this this just seems a lot harder than i'm when i was at my optometry appointment i i don't get it but anyways i did that and then after that was all finished the um examiner came into the room and then he like checked my ears he used the light and he checked my eyes and then um i laid down and then he pressed on different parts of my stomach and after that he just kind of like asked me questions which i'm sure was more so for small talk but um i'm not really sure so like he asked me if i went to school and i told him yeah i graduated from state and then he asked me like what i've been doing or what got me into aviation i told him okay i was a gay agent and um that i've been running a candle business for two years and that's like my current employment and then after that that was literally kind of it he um made me sign the paper it's literally a half sheet of paper and i'm like bro it can't even be a full sheet but it's a half sheet of paper and then he let me know that it's good for five years only one year is it a first class medical and then it reverts to a third class so um i'm happy i got this the reason i did a first class instead of a third class was to make sure that i was able to get one because of my concerns with my um eyesight of course you need a first class in order to like get paid to fly and i wanted to make sure that i could get one before i spent all that money and then they're like girl your eyes are so bad like you can't do this so that's that's it um i'm i'm i got that done so that's one relief as far as like my flight training i'm really kind of spinning in circles right now 100 percent, i plan on taking it up a notch in january right now i have my candle company and this is holiday season and you know um it, it's really like busy season for me so I plan on picking it up in January, which if you watched my last video, which I'll tag below, I have been toggling between the United Aviate Academy and ATP. But to be honest, like the United Academy, they have like no idea when class dates are going to be. It's pretty difficult to get in touch with someone. So I'm starting to go in different directions. I, I was in contact with ATP for a while and I, I might just do that. And I, I don't know, like, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy. I also was taking, <laughs> I was taking lessons at RDU, right? And then, as y'all know, I just recently purchased a house. It's kind of like in the woods and there's a, a small um, airport nearby. And I got a quote and they said, oh, for your PPL, it's um, 6700 before like um, these different fees. And I'm like, oh my God, like that's a lot less. So I have been thinking about going to the small school and doing their accelerated program because then I can have my private pilot's license and um, still do an accelerated program with ATP and it won't take me as long as a full program or go to United and not be like bound by flying for United's regionals. Like I'll have my freedom after I leave, I guess. So, you know. It's just it's just kind of up in the air but that's kind of what i'm going through let me know if y'all are going through the same thing i'm excited to hear from you but that's just a quick update of what has been going on um with me and how my first class medical went if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments and i'm here bye see you in the next one